pay in around two morning. But I thank you all for your presence here. It's actually really sad because it's a morning that reminds me of a similar incident that we had in Solai some time back. So I know how devastating it can be and the effects take a few days to even realize the full impact of that kind of a tragedy. So for now, I want to thank all the teams that have been working since uh, early morning to the 3, 4 a.m., 5, 6, 7, through all that time. All the collaboration with the different um, uh, agencies, uh, including Ken Hatu, our Waziri here. I know when we first got up, the roads could not, the ro there were issues with the trees on the roads and debris, and we couldn't even pass to go and help rescue people. But at least some of that has been restored. Uh, Red Cross, you're truly our angels, because every time you, you really step up, and I can't thank you enough. Um, our administrators, as we work together, thank you very much. Way, in a very twisted way, I'm also happy that schools are not opening. Mm. Thank you. In a very twisted way. Thank God. Mm. I would not have wished for that, but mm. sometimes a, a little grace is extended somehow, so that at least we have the facilities for now to be able to rescue people and have them. Because now, when we walk around and tell people, get out of the area, yes. and I know we had, it had even been said before this, but sometimes it you does. have to go. So sometimes as much as they know it's dangerous and it's coming, because I was telling him, okay, but he's actually on the way as well. So as you are saying, to Kisaidiana on that side, on this side, on every side, we've also spoken with our Waziri for NYS and Apitubia Watu as well. So with that collaboration, we can, we can help at least, I mean, we can't, it's going to be very difficult, especially for the 45 who've lost their family members. And unfortunately, we don't even really have the true picture there yet. Because we, for those at the hospitals, we've worked very hard since this morning to make sure that we need to evacuate more there. <coughs> but also more doctors from our other, doc, our other hospitals like PGH are also coming here to help. We've also talked with the private facilities, and most of them have agreed to just accept the, the, the injured whether they can pay or not, and we shall sort that out later. So we are really trying to do everything we can. As a county, we shall also, we have started mobilizing the resources we can from yes. the food to water, but obviously you can see the scope is huge, so we would welcome any help from any uh, well-wishers. So for now, it's just a very sad morning, a sad start, but we want to roll up our room. So this was just a quick brief on where we are and actually get out there on the ground and see what more helpers where perhaps as a county or as counties, we are not able, uh, we, are, we, are, we need help in. So thank you very much, even for a lot of the equipment that you have sent out here for the roads, uh, your Kenha team and all that, we truly appreciate that and I welcome you to say a few things. I know we'll be talking more once we get out there and kind of get to, 